morning everyone today we're heading out to our hometown to see some family um i think we're gonna go drive around the countryside hopefully look at some animals and just kind of have a relaxing weekend um the weather seems like it should be pretty good so hopefully we have a good time and let's let's get going we just got done with our shopping um i had to fuel up the diesel because we're gonna take the truck today the weather might be kind of crappy and I really don't want to take the car. So we're taking the Duramax today. It's been a while since I fuel up, fueled it up. And I'll tell you, this is why I don't drive the Duramax hardly ever. Diesel's ridiculously expensive. So it's just always like, ugh, it hurts to fuel this thing up. But you got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, no car today. We're going to take the Duramax. We're getting ready to go. We should probably hurry because we don't have too much time. But, yeah, should probably get going. We are on our way out of town now. Um, on the way out of town, I stopped by and checked the trap again. Um, yeah, we're about to hop on the highway and head to old Wheatland. So we will see you guys there. actually run buffalo off the side of there and um, they've done like excavations at that site and found like a bunch of buffalo bones and um, artifacts and stuff like that there so it's a pretty interesting area it's privately owned thankfully so you know it doesn't get beat up and stuff like that but it's a pretty interesting place for sure Nice day out. There's downtown, so we're gonna check that out. We're gonna go from there. We used to do the Easter egg hunt like at the park where there's like trees and grass, but for some reason they just lined them all out on the street, which seems completely silly to me. But what do I know? Yeah, that Easter egg hunt went pretty good. Um, I mean, it's just a bunch of little kids packing stuff up, you know, made them super excited. So got done with there talked with a few people we knew and then um we stopped by our favorite ice cream place here if i got like some hot fudge sundae and she got i don't know what flavor that is but some with some cherry stop here every time we come now we're gonna go look for me a new sweatshirt so you guys can stop seeing me in an orange sweatshirt so often because i wear a sweatshirt until it's completely worn out and then i don't know what what we have planned next but we'll figure it out i'm not seeing what i want you saw this video earlier, but it actually came from when we went on our bird watching trip, and I figured I'd just show Bro, it again in case you guys wanted a second look at it. So we're out here. We decided to go birding with the in-laws because that's their big thing they do. They spend lots of money on cameras and trips to go look at birds. And so we're just kind of out. <laughs> Out in the middle of the plains right now. Because the dog wouldn't shut up. That's kind of her thing. But I guess it's nicer than being in the house. Pretty nice day. It's raining. But yeah. Hopefully at one point today we'll get where we're trying to go. Huh. These are sharp-tailed grouse and the birds that we had set out to find. Um, my in-laws had got pictures of them earlier. And luckily they were able to share them with me so I could see these interesting animals in action. Mm -hmm. And distance wise, but you can see him on the tree line. Mm -hmm. Not even a metalurk? No, oh. yeah, that's a metalurk, but Sorry, well
came across these antelope and I thought it was just a really cool look with them running across and you could see the mountains in the background and the mountains were deep blue. I thought it was just really pretty. This is an old missile site. I don't know if it's old or not, but I don't think it's in commission anymore. Wyoming's version of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I thought that this was a pretty cool gap between the bluffs. This abandoned farmhouse was probably pretty cool back in its day. It'd be kind of cool if they let me get this close during hunting season. This is pretty much the end of our bird hunting adventure. Been a lot of cool stuff. You can see the mountains back up in here. It's, I mean, it's literally a perfect night though. We've got the lake here. We start circling back. We've got the bluffs behind us. It's super cool. You can hear some geese. See some bluffs and more cliffs and stuff over here. And it's really turned out to be a nice evening. No dead fish? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Dead fish? Yeah, yeah, walleye. A huge one. That is not a bad walleye. Yeah, sure would have been good eating size. There's him next to my foot. That's size 12. Well, that's pretty neat. That? Oh, it's I thought it was going to land for us. Mm -hmm. oh. Little muskrat, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's Swimming along and enjoying his day, ain't he? That's pretty cool. Lake? <laughs> oh, there <laughs> it goes. <laughs> munching on something, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe you found him a tasty fish. Maybe you found him a tasty tree root. Oh, they are they herbivores? Well, you can hear him chewing. According to the navigation, we're going to be in some trouble here before right. not too long. We better get our uh, snorkels out.
made some nachos and it looks pretty good. Pretty excited to get into this, so I'm gonna eat. So it's the next morning and um, last night we were out filming and stuff. You'll see all the videos of the animals and stuff we got and it just eventually started getting too dark. So I just put the phone up and enjoyed the ride, but it was a really good time out there. Um, I had a lot of fun. We haven't been out on a big drive kind of around in the country for a little while. So it was nice to get back out there. Um, I know I didn't talk a lot in there, but I'll just kind of let the shots do the talking for me. It was just more of a fun, calm ride that we were able to go do. So um, right now I'm just getting ready. We're getting ready to head back home. Um, it looks like it might storm here in a little while. You can kind of see the sky over there getting a little bit crappy. But yeah, we're gonna head home, probably do a few other stuff. Maybe not anything too exciting, but I'll keep you um, updated through that and uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, so I'm back. Before we go, um, we haven't left yet. We were gonna eat some dinner, so I fired up the old pit boss. We got some, got some snakes, snakes. We got some steaks going. It's starting to get kind of crappy. It's starting to rain. Oof. It'll be probably a little bit slower drive home, but it'll be okay. It's just rain. I don't think it's supposed to turn to snow, hopefully. Well, we'll find out. All right, guys, we're getting ready to head out of Wheeling. It looks like we're gonna run into some storms, so we'll probably get rained on a little bit. It's not supposed to snow. But we're getting ready to head out back home and we will talk to you when we get there i think we we're gonna stop by a store so maybe look for a few, few things while we're out and about but i'm not sure yet yay spring weather got some hail and now it's about to quit probably start back up again see a rainbow out there maybe so we made it home safe the roads weren't too bad um it was smooth sailing all the way there um anyways i want to thank everyone for watching the video if you like please like and subscribe um i left this video shorter just to keep it as kind of the weekend trip um it suited the video better than me putting a bunch of other stuff in there i think so i'm just gonna leave it how it is and um just wait for the fourth vlog to come out and i will see you guys next time thank you